And the US Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, has held his first meeting with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Iceland. They said their countries can find ways to work together despite their differences. Lavrov called the talks constructive and said preparations would begin for a possible meeting between the two countries' leaders. The talks were part of the Arctic Council, an international forum aimed at increasing cooperation in the region. And for more, we are joined now by DW correspondent Emily Sherwin, who is in Moscow for us, and we're hoping that she's going to join us quite soon. There she is, <laughs> Emily. Um, can you tell us what's come out of this first face-to-face -face meeting between the new US, uh, new US Secretary uh, of State and the Russian Foreign Minister? Well, to be honest, I think the most important outcome of this meeting was that the meeting took place at all. After all, Russia and U.S. relations have been on kind of a downward spiral um, since the, U the new U.S. administration under Joe Biden started, uh, especially after Joe Biden agreed with an interviewer's comments on Vladimir Putin um, that, that Vladimir Putin is a killer. That's really a red line uh, for Russia, those comments there. And since then we've seen uh, the U.S. Um, uh, level new sanctions against Russia. We've seen both sides expelling each other's diplomats. We've seen Russia include the U.S. in a list of so-called unfriendly countries. So I think just considering all that, the tone of yesterday's meeting was actually rather uh, constructive and positive. Lavrov said that the two sides uh, talked about Afghanistan, where uh, the U.S. will beginning is beginning uh, a troop withdrawal, um, and that they are are also going to be talking about um, restoring the Iran nuclear deal. Blinken mentioned climate change um, as one possible sphere of cooperation. And Lavrov said that he hopes that the two countries can overcome the gulf um, that is formed between them. OK, thank you, Emily. Now, um, overall, the two top diplomats struck a conciliatory note, but they did also acknowledge their differences. Let's have a quick listen. There is an understanding of the need to overcome the unhealthy situation that has arisen between Moscow and Washington in previous years. There is a lot of rubble that will be difficult to clear away. But I feel that Antony Blinken and his team aim to do that. And we want to take part in doing that. It's also uh, no secret that uh, we have our differences. Uh, and when it comes to those differences, as President uh, Biden has also shared uh, with uh, President Putin, if uh, Russia uh, acts aggressively against uh, us, uh, our partners, our, our allies, we'll, we'll respond. And uh, President Biden has demonstrated that in, uh, in both word and deed, not for purposes of uh, escalation, not to seek uh, conflict, but to uh, defend our interests. Now, uh, Blinken also told uh, Lavrov that the U U.S. wants a predictable, uh, stable relationship with Russia. Emily, there is a possibility that a summit could place, uh, take place next month between uh, the U.S. President Joe Biden and his Russian counterpart, uh, Vladimir Putin. Given the outcome, the tone of today's meeting, is that meeting um, uh, between uh, Biden and Putin likely to take place? I think that this uh, meeting uh, that just happened between the foreign ministers certainly um, sets the scene for that. Now, we haven't actually had any official confirmation from the Kremlin that that meeting will uh, be taking place. And I think the Russian side, at least, is kind of uh, playing hard to get and almost uh, has been playing hardball uh, with the U.S. Um, and we heard yesterday or, or today depending on your time zone, um, uh, from Lavrov as well, uh, that um, uh, he wants a meeting on an equal footing, as he said, uh, with the U.S. Uh, so I think they're probably going to wait for a while to confirm that meeting, but I do think it's in Russia's interest. DW correspondent Emily Sherwin in Moscow. Thanks so much.